Let's start with a sunny and bright warm up. We're going to start very gentle, but we're going to finish strong. So come your feet hip width apart, feet are parallel, pointing forwards. We're going to do a full stretch variation. So you're going to bend your knees first, rounding your back, then stretch your leg, really fully stretch, and then come up onto your toes. Then go back into full stretch. So these are four movements. So the full stretch is one, lifting on the toes is two, coming back into full stretch is three, and then bending the knees four. Make sure that each of these movements is a little bit of a stop pause because you do want to have your rounding your back in the squat. You do want to have your stretch here rounding and you want to come up onto your toes really nice and soft, keeping your balance. It's a bit of a balance challenge and when you bend the knees make sure you pull the navel in that's right first one next one challenge we're going to start from a plank pose and then we're going to push back into a v down dog and when you come back into that plank pose you're rolling forward rounding your back you can look into your navel rounding your spine and then coming into that step pose that plank pose it's like a wave so you're simply pushing back to your hips and into that V pose. And when you're coming forward, you're imagining a wave crushing onto the beach. And you can really exaggerate that because you want to engage the abs, engage the core, pulling the navel in and unraveling forward. And when you come forward into that wave crushing onto the beach, I do want you to pull the head forward so that the crown of your head really reaches forward and your heels reach backwards. You're gonna get a second chance at this later. We're gonna do two rounds of each, if I forgot to mention. Next one up, full lunges forward. And you're gonna start with your feet with the part standing pose and then come forward into a deep lunge. You wanna have your arms in runner's pose, means in a diagonal way. So you alternate left and right and you do wanna have a kind of a contra lateral twist in the spine here. So when the right knee goes forward, the left arm goes forward, you got the concept. Now when you lunge forward, make sure that you make a really big step so that your knees have a 90 degree angle to the calves and thighs. So you really want to have an equal weight distribution. Oh my God, what sense in it? Uh, between the front and the left leg, but of course the momentum goes forward. So the front leg will have most of the impact Good, wonderful. So let's have a second go. And this time I really want you to focus on this stretching because we're kind of warmed up now, which also means that your back might be able to round a bit more and you might also be able to stretch a bit more in those hamstrings. So pressing the heels into the floor, stretching the hamstrings, coming up onto your toes, rounding the back, lifting the sit bones up, and then coming back into that full stretch, still being round, and I'll bend the knees, get even round up, pulling the navel in. This is such a great stretch. I did steal that a bit from belly and jazz dance, but it's fantastic. Now the head should really hang. So whatever feels comfortable for you, try to pull the head in a little bit more as if you would not want to look at your knees, but at your navel. And this allows you to enlarge the stretch up until the neck. All right, here we go. We're already at our plank to V forward rolling wave. And we're sitting in plank position. You simply shift the weight back, pushing the heels up and backwards. And you can stretch your calves a little bit by pushing those heels down, which you can't see right now, but I do push the heels down. Then when you crush that way forward, make sure that you're pushing your hands into the ground. I do like to push the ball of the index finger into the ground, but make sure that your hand is in full contact with the floor or the concrete or the gravel or wherever you are right now. And then be strong in your shoulders, pulling the shoulders far away from your ears, making a really long neck and the head pulls forward then. The crown of your head goes pulled forward, the heels pull backwards. And here we go again. Leg warm up. This is great workout for your calves, your thighs, and your butt, your glutes. So make sure that you step forward 
in a wide lunge, a big lunge, big step forward. And I also like this lunging forward because it's a great mobilization of the big toe joint or the toe joints in general. If you have the chance to work barefoot because you don't work on gravel like I do here, then it's an even better stretch of the toe joint. That's for the back foot. I hope you know what I mean. Then stay upright, really keep the shoulders above your above your hips and try to keep your ears above the shoulder so the crown of your head always reaching upwards and here we go second round we're starting easy with some adductor stretches in a big lunge side lunge so uh, in order to ease that a little bit for your back just simply bring your hands onto the top of your thigh and then lean over one leg is straight one leg is bent and you do want to push into your heels really making sure that you feel a little bit of a stretch in the inside of your thigh if you want to you can even push the inner foot a little bit more into the ground as if you would want to rotate your foot outwards so that the stretch continues all the way up into the lower calf great i hope you know what i mean you do want to bring a lot of length between your sit bones and the inside of your heel Ooh, and here we go i said we finished strong i'm gonna do some butt kicks here so butt kicks it is the name isn't for nothing. You basically try to kick your own butt, which is a good thing every now and then. So you do want to pull your heels all the way up to your sit bones, but challenging, you don't want to bring the knees forward. So the knees try to stay on the same line, parallel to each other. So it's not a knee raise, it's not a knee high, it's not a knee forward, skipping, um, running, whatever it is. So this is a real challenge. We're working on the hamstring muscles here. This is great for speed, elasticity, and a great preparation for what's coming because this cardio season is all about the jumping. So make sure that you rebound really nicely on your feet. And here we go. This is also a great preparation for this cardio series, the jumpings that we're gonna do in standing and plank pose and all different kinds of things. So pogo jumps is with your knees and your legs almost straight, a little bit of a rebound here, but you're basically working out of your calf muscles and your ankles. So it's this as if you're playing a big drum with your feet and you're just pushing down the tip of your toes, down, 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 down. So that's the kind of what's going on in your head. It's more like down than going up and you're starting from the in the air position. I know this is hard to imagine, but just imagine you're in the air and you do want to down, down, down and rebound as quickly as possible from the floor in these pogo jumps. They're really fun and make sure you get the arm coordination correctly. It's kind of quick with the arms, but they help you to get that rebound correctly. Woo! A little bit of a breather here. We're just going to do some nice and easy adductor stretches in that big side lunge position. Make sure your feet are pointing forward parallel or slightly turned outwards just to protect the knees. Knees when they bend they always go in direction of your second and third toe if possible. And you can rest your arms here a little bit. Breathe easy. Keep your back straight. You want to focus down or slightly in front of you so that the neck can relax. Make sure that your shoulders are relaxing. You might have been a little tense back there when I came up with these nice jumps, but they're important because we are going to do a lot of jumping all over the espresso workout cardio series. And I do need to get your knees and your ankles prepped for doing these kind of rebounds and jumps. So 
So here we go. Second round, and this is almost the end. So this is kind of the finale here that we're doing. Butt kicks, and I do like this arm movement here. It's kind of, you wanna go forward, but you're not. So it's kind of on the spot, but it looks like you're really fast. And now challenge yourself to accelerate these butt kicks. So you do really wanna go as fast as possible and play a little bit with the rotation of your legs. I do do these butt kicks a little bit in outward rotation like in a belly position like a, the legs flare out slightly and this allows me to go even higher with the ankles or the heels in direction of my hips so play with that a little bit for you it can be the absolute opposite so that you need to flare in a bit I do like the flare out in this case feels good cool here we go pogo jumps last jump and if any of this is too much for you then you can also not do the full 45 seconds which we're doing here but maybe rest until 30 seconds or get in now in 40 seconds so make sure that you adjust the pause and the recuperation that you need the rest time to the exercise time we're doing 10 seconds of rest and 45 seconds of exercise but you can shift that a little bit to have maybe even 30 seconds of rest and 30 seconds or 25 seconds of exercise uh, according to your needs but i do like to finish together this is kind of the finale and you do want to finish strong so pogo jumps it is pulling the toes up and rebounding from the floor and keep these arms in these arms do great work here cool and this is kind of the bonus one we're just doing 45 seconds of plank pose and the reason i do this is because we do need a lot of wrist strength and shoulder strength in these espresso workout cardio series because there will be a lot of exercises where we're going to be in plank pose on one arm on one leg in all different kinds of different forward bends and back bends and side bends and t-stands and push-ups and planks and jump planks and whatever so be excited and be ready and ideally there's a little bit of a progression going on here so this is number one get ready to jump and we'll get there slowly so I hope you're gonna follow through stick with the program and done so if this was too hard for you you can go back to the special workouts foundation else I'll see you next time round in the espresso workouts cardio subscribe if you haven't and lots of love comment below